Okay, this is my digital clock on a TT Go T4 version 1.3. It uh, gets the time from a DS3231 and displays it constantly on the T4 with the temperature. The it uses the I squared C or I to see interface and power is either from the USB or the bat a battery. The the I squared C interface is basically uh, uses the connector you came that came with the T4. It's um it's basically a straight connector it um the the lines are in the same place on the on the t R RTC module as it is on the um on the T4 the ground 5 volts the SDA and the SCL this is the and on the right side is the the, in, the the clock ticking away. This is the code, uh, but it, you'll find this on the project hub. I'll put that on later at the bottom in the description. Uses the SPI and the wire libraries and the TTF library. We just initialize them use the object RTC this is the variables we use for the the seconds minutes hours weekday month anything with an L on the front is the last one just to just to tell us if it's changed or not and whether to change it in the on the display the the temperature um, and uh, this little temperature icon is you can only get from it's it's two four seven a character two number two four seven. This is the this is not used. This is the two flags which tell us um, which you need f to to get the variables to get the settings from the. The RTC, but it, they're not used in the program. The spaces before the months are necessary to um, to tell you to put it in in the middle of the display. This this is all the setup on the drawing of the display of the lines across, separating everything out in red. This is the the strings where we we initialize all the all the um, this the variables and the settings of the the month and the time. It, all these um, are routines. They're all basically the same routine. Once get the second and put a zero in front of it if it's a single digit. This is it. The next one is get the minutes and do exactly the same with the minutes. Uh, put the zero on in front of the minutes if it's a single digit. This isn't the zero where we get it. This is the the day of the week. The we call it weekday in the variables. We get the temperature. The temperature. We get the the month and display the month, and then we display the date of the month. After getting it from the RTC, if it's changed, we do the routine. If it hasn't, we just go on to the next routine and so on, and just keep looping it. 
Enter. That's it. Uh, I'll put the the link to the the code at the in the description. It's on the project hub. And um, I hope you have lots of fun with it. Okay. If you have any trouble, um, leave it in the comments on the project hub or on YouTube. Um, and uh, I'll get back to you probably.